Hey guys, this tutorial describes the process of upgrading the RCB OS 10 firmware. We will need the programmer software, the latest firmware, a micro USB to USB cable and a Windows PC with a good USB port. First, we download the software from the link given on the product page. Then open the link for the firmwares. Click on the latest file and then click download. It is better to keep the downloaded files together as we will need them later. Now open the DFVUSE setup file and complete the setup process. After clicking finish, the driver folder opens up. We will keep this folder open while we get our hardware ready. For the next step, we need the OS 10 transmitter and the micro USB to USB cable. Open the transmitter battery bay and locate the micro USB port. Now connect the cable to the transmitter and your PC. To start the transmitter in firmware upgrade mode, press and hold the enter button and then switch on the transmitter. Next, open the control panel in your PC and click on device manager. The device manager now shows a new device named STM32DFU that needs a driver update. Now go back to the driver folder opened previously and copy the address. In the device manager window, right click on STM32DFU and select update driver software. In the window that opens, select browse for driver software. In the text box, paste the address of the driver folder. Make sure the include subfolders option is checked and click next. In the security warning dialog box, click on install this driver software anyway. Now we have the driver installed, click close to exit. Now we will write the new firmware to the transmitter. In the windows search box, type DFUSE and select DFUSE demonstration. The programmer software should start and show STM device in DFU mode in the drop down list. Now click on choose and locate your firmware folder. Select the latest firmware file and open it. The window should display a file correctly loaded message. Now click on the upgrade button and wait for the upgrade to complete. After a successful upgrade, the window displays an upgrade successful message. Click on quit and turn off your transmitter. That's it, we now have the new firmware.